find yourself in the Beachview area of Pittsburgh, check out the official pizza of this show, Slice on Broadway, sharing an abnormal obsession with pizza we can relate to. Check them out at sliceonbroadway.com and tell them this show sent you. I'm hungry, spark, but I ain't starving yet. Chain for the pain, cocktail, dollar set. Never said I was a gangster or a thug, but I'm an animal. Pizza for the taste of the pizza. Hey guys, it's the Indie Mayhem Show episode 93. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitters, and I'm at the, at the Mayhem Studios here in Pittsburgh, PA, ready to talk some independent pro wrestling with our awesome, awesome guest. Wait, that's a different podcast uh, with us tonight. Uh, of course, myself, I'm a video producer here in the Pittsburgh area, and I help out with the uh, International Wrestling Cartel as well as the Renegade Wrestling Alliance and some uh, documentaries uh, going on, including the uh, wonderful legend of virgil and his traveling merchandise table as well as and sometimes interview series as well uh montreal theory finding zach gowan and so much more at indie wrestling.us with me from texas san antonio texas actually uh no that's a windows start screen that's where are you there you are I'm a robot. he is a robot there you are uh Eamon payton at Eamon too please on the twitters he is the voice of inspire pro wrestling out of austin texas how you doing sir I'm doing good. I'm at a Windows startup screen. I'm very happy for that. Um, thank you very much, Laura. I'm excited to be uh, back on talking indie wrestling again this week. Of course. And uh, let's get into, uh, of course, please check out everything at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. You can subscribe to this and so many other shows, um, as well as the Midweek Wars, the Raw Wrap-Ups, and whatever else we come up with. And uh, follow the Mayhem Show at Mayhem Show on the Twitters, Wrestling Mayhem Show on the Facebook Facebook group, and the, uh, eh, not really the Google Plus anymore, let's be honest about that. You can also drop us a line, let us know who your favorite indie wrestler is, or anything we're missing out on at 412-206-WMS0. Or the email address, goodtimes at wrestlingmayhemshow.com. If you're digging what we're doing here, please support the main show at patreon.com slash wrestlingmayhemshow. And also support our friend Basic Sickness, who provides the music for this and the main show as well. Basicsickness.com for some free stuff. So with us on the couch, back in, he's the returning Andrew Palace is with us, rocking it. Yeah. Yes! <laughs> he's excited. I'm back! <laughs> Been like 80 whatever episodes since I've been here, and it's good to be back. You are, and you're one of the very few return guests that we've had, actually, to be honest. I, I, I appreciate it. I like that. Thank you. Awesome. I, I think what, what we got Justin Plummer, Joe Dombrowski, um, um, uh, Biss, was it, was it, wasn't he a, a two timer? When we had him on for this that special. Is a time. This is a total two timer. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny. It's awesome. um, yeah, but uh, Delilah Doom was a two timer. That's right. Uh, that's right. So you're you're one of the few, sir. Thank I, you very much. I'm, I am honored. I am quite honored. Thank you. So, so, uh, uh, I gotta say, we don't really have a format for the second timers for the most part. So it is basically yeah. just gonna be a catch up what has been going on. And of course, you've been very busy over yeah. the last uh, uh, well over a year and a half since we talked to you uh, on this show. Yeah. Yeah. I've been uh, wrestling new places, wrestling some big names, some new people. Uh, I've been doing some crazy things here and there, uh, trying to get my name out there a little bit more. Mm -hmm. And, uh, I think it's get, uh, it's been going pretty well. So uh, talk about that a little bit. So, uh, you know, I, I think it's really important for uh, wrestlers to, again, do more than just their local area, uh, get out a bit more. How has that been for you since we talked last? Well, I've been heading around uh, Philly, New Jersey a little bit more, mm -hmm. around the CZW kind of area, going to CZW Dojo Wars and uh, mm -hmm. uh, Sideshow yeah. Pro. Um, and, uh, actually was at, uh, the wrestle fest that was going on there that, uh, Matt Tremont was putting on, uh, for VOW. Uh, and that was pretty cool. Uh, just, I just gotta try to throw it out all out there. You gotta, you gotta take a chance. You gotta say, Oh, you know, this drive, it's going to be eight hours, but let's do it. Mm -hmm. Let's just go. Let's get a carload of guys and just drive and i i feel like the people that put that effort in are the ones that end up um doing something 
Like, I, I feel like if you're not doing that, you're not putting everything you can into this. Mm -hmm. And, uh, like I, um, uh, starting out wrestling, I planned to like, I didn't want to be mediocre. I didn't want to be just going through the motions. I wanted to, you know, get on another level. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, uh, it, it, you, you, this wasn't going to be a weekend warrior, warrior thing for you, right? Yeah. Yeah. I, I'd rather not. Um, uh, I would like to make a living doing this, but it takes time. It takes effort. Um, can't be lazy. So mm -hmm. I'm going to do what I can. So, you know, of course, getting out there, it gets you in front of, uh, it gets you working with different people. It gets you working with different audiences as well, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, the Philly area, that crowd is so much different than the Pittsburgh crowd. Mm -hmm. And places in West Virginia are so much different than Pittsburgh. Mm -hmm. Like you got to change your style up depending on where you are. Uh, like if you're in West Virginia and you hit someone with a suplex, they, they might go, Oh my God, oh, that suplex. It, that was crazy. He killed the guy. You do a suplex in Philly and they're like, uh, uh, uh okay. Uh, what else are you going to do? <laughs> oh, he didn't fall on his head. Uh, then it's not that cool, man. It's not that cool. Mm -hmm. So, you got to just change it up and it's helping me uh, change my style up because even though I'm naturally a energetic, like a uh, different kind of person in the head, mm -hmm. um, like my wrestling style isn't too crazy. Like I, I don't, I don't do too much crazy things, but I'm starting to add a little bit more to my repertoire because of these new places I'm going. Mm -hmm. And uh, I feel like it's helping me grow as a wrestler. And, and you, you talk about the style and everything. I remember you you were telling me uh, a couple of months ago about you're working someplace in Ohio and you were, you were trying something very, very different for you. Uh, Ohio? Yeah, I, I, I think you, you, you're trying like a very like kind of opposite demeanor than what you usually oh, do. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, I can't believe I just like went brain dead. Uh, yeah, um, it was a, it was a, it was just like a random conversation we had. Yeah. So I don't expect you to remember all that. But <laughs> um, um, it, it's for uh, Rockstar Pro, right? And uh, Dayton on one of their uh, Ludus shows. Mm -hmm. Um, you usually like around here. I'm the good guy. I'm the I'm the one. Everybody's like, yay, happy, go lucky, Andrew. Uh, when I'm in Dayton, like I'm just I'm the guy that. Oh, you guys want to see something? No. You're you're not. I'm not going to do that because this is Dayton, Ohio, <laughs> and I hate Ohio. And you know that that's a little bit that comes that's a that's kind of true a little bit <laughs> with me. I'm a I'm a Pittsburgh guy. Ohio's just meh to me. I mean, nothing against Ohio, but you know, Steelers, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and, and and just that Ohio, ugh, ugh. I, yeah. Um, it's so flat, right? Um, yeah. but anyways, uh, so, uh, recently, uh, I, I don't know if you read, there's a lot of attention coming to, uh, IWC lately. Uh, of course, a, a friend of the shows and, uh, a, a, another alumni of IWC, uh, Logan Shulo, now known as, known as I, Elias Sampson. I always screw that up. Uh, I, I'm, I don't see it enough on TV. Same with Elias? No, Elias We need Samson. to see it more on TV. Elias That's Samson. what's up. That's it. We need I, to see it more. I flip it in my head for some reason because he reminds me of somebody else. But a lot of attention is coming to uh, IWC and the training school. I know uh, uh, the guys have been pushing out, you know, hey, look at all the people have come through the school. And uh, you are a product of the Iron City Wrestling Academy uh, yourself. Yes. So. Uh, hopefully... I can be one of those guys that people go, oh my, oh my God, Andrew Palace went to IWC. Like, like I have to go there. I have to train there. That's where he trained. Um, who oh, I, I, I'm not on that level yet. I'm not Elias Samson level yet, mm -hmm. but um, that's where I'm striving to go. Um, but you got people like uh, Britt Baker. Uh, she's she she really is awesome. Like she's amazing. She's she's not just a good looking girl. She's athletic. And she can go and she pushes herself to do a lot of great things. So there's a lot of hype behind her. Darren De Niro, he's, mm -hmm. he's in the UK right now. Like one year in, he's in the UK doing a 10-day tour. He's awesome. I, I'm sure he would <laughs> tell the, you that. By the way, over there sporting a Britt Baker shirt. 
I thought oh. was pretty cool. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Never wears an Andrew Palace shirt, but nope. <laughs> whatever. I'm not. I'm not going to get into that. But uh, no, he he's doing great. Uh, Remy Levey is getting out there, getting his name, uh, getting his name out there, uh, driving to different places just to train, trying to get better. Uh, you got people like Bulk Nasty, where people are totally like slamming him and just like uh, insulting him and stuff. But Bulk Nasty, he, I, I seen him train. Like this guy trains hard, and like. I, I feel like people are going to be impressed when they see what this guy can do. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't think he had the opportunity yet. He's not quite there. He just got out of training, but this guy's going to be really good. And he's a guy that's come out and he's really kind of uh, squashed, squashed some people, yeah. you know, more or less. Uh, kind of been the heavy uh, so far. But yeah. I mean, it's a nice introduction spot. I mean, and yeah. not everybody has the greatest introduction yeah. in their professional wrestling career. True. Right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, with with Bulk Nasty, some people are like, they're like, oh, like th- this guy, he's not intimidating. When they say that this guy's a badass, he he is a badass. Mm-hmm. Like this guy did get in fights with like five guys at one time. Like he throws people through windows. He 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 like he's no one to mess with. Just because he doesn't look like Ryback, he he's a He's a beast. He's quite the beast. Um, but basically what I'm trying to say is the IWC school has full, like, tons of uh, talent that's going to be, like, they're, they're already known. But, I mean, they're going to, trust me, they're going to go places. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I feel like Pittsburgh, oh, there's bulk. <laughs> um, I feel like Pittsburgh is just, just has a huge huge selection of uh great wrestlers great young wrestlers right now and i think as long as things keep improving i think pittsburgh wrestling is gonna get get back up there because i feel like people don't view pittsburgh wrestling that greatly anymore Mm -hmm. and uh i think we're gonna show them that we're just as good, if not better, than everyone else. I think I think that it's been a very crowded space too. A lot of old timers uh, for a long time. Not to, not to bash on the old timers yeah. on this one, but but we're really just like a lot of the same faces or the the faces that didn't go along, you know, to to yeah. the WWE and everything. And I think it's been a while since we've had a good flux of the trainees that yeah. that really kind of flourished. Yeah, as it seems to be happening here. I mean, I got, I gotta say, it, it, it was really nice to see some some returns recently of the Bowler uh, Brian McDowell. Oh. I mean, gotta dude, be I, I like we had our problems in the past, but I popped so hard when he went out there <laughs> with his bowling bag. I'm like, this is not happening. No, and it did happen, and I was like, yes, that was crazy. Oh, it was, it was quite fantastic i think it was called uh one of the top two uh pops of the night and and you guys don't know we're gonna have to have him on now that he's been he's been back i was considering we should have an std's takeover show (laughs) and get those guys on like the whole the whole crew could you put plastic on the couch we're gonna have to put plastic on the couch i don't know what kind of entourage they'll bring with them because if chess will wear clothes if chess will wear clothes in general uh should i warn the neighbors uh tell them to put their pets in uh, for instance, the STDs, of course, our group here uh, in Pittsburgh called the sexy, the sexy, talented dudes. I used to be part of that group. You used to be part of that group. Actually, I think I was part of that group the first time I was on here. I was part of that group. I think you still were. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's before the breakup. Happened. Yeah, the, before the breakup. <laughs> so you're you're a you're a, you're a product of a faction. <laughs> you yeah. know, are are you the rock of that faction? Is, is the STDs um, the nation of domination? I mean, I'm not starring in any big movies yet, but it, it's possible. It's always pro wrestlers versus zombies, too. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, I, 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 um, okay. If I'm the Rock, who is everyone else? <laughs> well, are we gonna break this down? Yeah. Uh, I think Chess Flexor is easily Farouk. How <laughs> oh, easily? <laughs> easily. <laughs> I mean, that, that was like your first one. Like, I mean, it's easy. That's easy, right? Uh, wh- who's who else is in there? D'Lo Brown and what? Godfather, um, and Mark Henry. Mark, Mark Henry. Henry has to be the bowler. Has to be Brian, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'd say so. <laughs> yeah, he has to be. He's got that angry, 
he, angry chip on he's his shoulder. Sexual white chocolate. Sexual white chocolate. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That should be that should be his thing. He should pull out a bowling ball that's white chocolate, and everybody's like, "Oh!" And you know the fingers and the, but uh, <laughs> yeah. And and Corey, who is Corey? Who's Mister Futuristic? Would that be D'Lo? He has to be because he does that's the hand motions. Think of. Yeah, he does the hand like sure, Corey exactly. does a lot of the shaking the pop, <laughs> throwing the dice. That's a lot of those. <laughs> Which concerns me every time, by the way. <laughs> but but there's no female manager for well, the nation. Uh, does that mean Ginger's... Well... She'd have to be the godfather. Yeah, Ginger's the godfather. <laughs> I mean, sh- she could relate to the godfather. I mean, godfather did did come out with some fine young ladies. Some, some uh, good quality girls. Some hose, if you will. Right? <laughs> I, was gonna I mean, not calling ginger ho. I mean, gin, <laughs> ginger ho. Just say that word, ginger ho. Ginger ho. Jeez. Sounds like a candy bar. <laughs> Do you come over hungry or something? What's <laughs> going on here? <laughs> Dude, I'm always hungry. Like, Ryback stole my gimmick. I'm the one that's always hungry. Feed me more. <laughs> But, you know, I'll let him have that. So, but yeah. Uh, yeah, Nation of uh, Domination. STDs. I like it. And I'm The Rock, I guess. <laughs> I'm The Rock. I should just start telling people I'm The Rock. Like, I feel, I, I don't feel like it would put a bad taste in anyone's mouth if I go around the locker room going, hey, I'm just like The Rock. Show me some respect. Smell what I'm cooking. No, you can't have any. I'm always hungry. And Boom. don't don't poop in my gym bag. Um, <laughs> I, I won't. I, I promise. Um, oh, I just lost my question <laughs> after that one. <laughs> yeah, I don't even know where we went. No, no, we went a whole other level. Um, uh, oh, oh, I know what I wanted to ask. Uh, so you, you have a really interesting uh, uh, match coming up. Oh. And uh, 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 one... I don't know if you noticed, I was sharing the Brutus Beefcake picture the other day on, on one of the accounts. Oh, I noticed. <laughs> oh, I noticed. <laughs> so you're in this feud with Dylan Bostic, who's yes. uh, been, been on the show, of course, here recently. Uh, has all the millions of billion, billions of uh, Bieber followers all over the world. Oh. And is the current Super Indie champion. Um, and I noticed that we have a little bit of a, uh, 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 a hair issue. A hair issue, Coming yes. up here. Um, yes. can, you, can you tell us a little bit about that? And 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 I mean, your identity is your hair, man. I mean, you, you, said, can, you said I'm nothing but my hair. No, 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 no. Like a big part of your identity is the yeah. is the crazy hair. Yeah. Um, other than the guy on Twitter today that 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 thought you looked like an offspring <laughs> of Brian Pillman. <laughs> hey, I'll I'll take that. I like <laughs> Brian Pillman. Yeah, I'll take that. Uh, but 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 uh, you know, uh, putting your hair in, in danger like that. Are are you concerned about that? Would you consider a look change? Ah. Uh, you know what? I would. And I would. Has, and as somebody with a with a three lettered initials uh, uh, told you to cut your hair, because <laughs> that seems to always happen. Um. Yeah. Yeah. I would do it because I. I mean, I. I. I don't want to do it, and I don't want to lose these locks here. But you know, what? I. I think. I think I am capable of s- still. Being unique and different, even if I didn't have hair. Even mm-hmm. though I love my hair. I love my hair. I love my hair. I love my hair. But if I had to cut it, uh, I I don't I don't I don't want I don't want to think about that. Do, do you think if you if you cut your hair, would that change Andrew Palace? Would that change your attitude? Would that change I, how you come out? Would you not have this uh, a quasi ultimate warrior run around the ring that you have. I, I'm, I might not because the hair tickles the back of my ears and it just gets me going. And uh, if I didn't have hair, I wouldn't have that tickle. So I'm with you. Um, I'm with you. I, I, I had flashbacks when I was wearing that uh, those that Rastafarian wig. Did you want to run tonight. around? No, I, no, I didn't really do the run around. I did. You see me? I was 30 pounds heavier back then when I had long hair. Mm. But uh, but but I had a dream the other week. The, the, the other week where uh, I had my long hair back. And uh, wasn't it great? It was. I was just like, man, I missed that. Yeah, I missed that. Yeah, you know? I don't want 
to miss my hair. <laughs> but I mean, the way I look at it, for people who don't like me, if you come to the show in December, and if if I lose, then you get to see me get my head shaved. <laughs> Awesome. And if you like me and I win, I get a title. And that's awesome because I I love I really do love the Super Indie title. Mm. Um so I feel it it win lose, somebody's going home happy. Whether I have a cold buzzed head, I don't know. I don't know. I don't like the thought of that. Just imagine me. Imagine. I mean, I'm sure. I'm sure I could still woo the ladies uh, without any hair. But uh, curls for the girls, man. Uh, yeah, I gotta keep. I, I gotta keep this hair. There you go. I love it. I love this hair. There it's winter too. It's it's cold. I need to keep my neck and ears warm. aim has got. Well, Amy doesn't have to worry about that down in Texas. But he's got. He's got a little bit of the curls going. He should probably grow that thing out. Well, they, this is just from not growing. It. We're just not taking care of it. <laughs> Mr. Palace's hair is much more. Uh, you can tell there's much more work put into it. Into getting that to, that to become what it is. I didn't hear it. <laughs> oh, okay. I did. I didn't hear. I was like, I was like, I'm trying to hear. I was like, I thought you were about to say something. Oh, yeah, we must have a connection problem over there. Sorry about that. Oh, you, I'm sorry. I got to see your beautiful face, though. I saw you making expressions really and good. stuff. I like that. You're, you're Amen. Your your connection's good. It's something in the studio happening here. It's not going to his headset. He's the first one to use that all night. So uh, okay. That's so fine. We, I, was, I just said fantastic things about you. Fantastic things about your hair. He says. Oh <laughs> well, I think your hair is fantastic. I like that little scoopy thing with your hair you got in the front there. <laughs> the little. I like that. It's very Elvis. That's what the it's ladies say too. Thing. See, you do go. you catch Great. the girls with that one curl? Just like. Whoosh, <laughs> wow I'm, I'm sorry I don't even know how to respond to that you just gotta start headbutting people just head, headbutt women and they'll get caught in it just headbutt <laughs> that's a great idea that's a great idea I don't know what I've been thinking uh, alright uh, so <laughs> um, uh, you guys are getting you're getting around. Uh, you having a lot of good stuff happening over here. Uh, working with some uh, uh, cool town, some people from Cleveland coming down, of course for IWC. Of course, I only see an IWC and and sparingly over in a VOW uh, mm-hmm. a, as well here. Um, but uh, and I know you've been trying out a bit of a tag team wrestling. Of course, Flex Palace. Yeah, uh, I know. I know. I, I I started bringing Missy to some of the VOW shows, and she's getting a kick out of seeing you guys in a different environment there. Yeah. Well, recently in that environment, we are no longer together. Oh. We've, we've had our match, our breakup but match. But Chess Flexer got caught on fire for you. Not for me. That was a, he, that was a, oh, no, that was a singles match. Right. He had a singles match. And I guess we had, we had our little breakup match. Oh. I, I won though, so it's not that bad. Okay. And, uh, yeah. And now I'm going to be part of this Iron Man tournament. They got uh, going on in November. I'm bad with dates, but it's in November. And if you have social media, it should be easy to find. You know, Vicious Outcast Wrestling. Check. Uh, so I'm part of this Iron Man tournament there. And it's going to be like a bunch of Iron Man matches. In the final round, it's going to be like a 30 minute Iron Man match between five people, I think. So should be cool. Should be cool. So right now I'm doing my singles stuff there. Uh, but you still, I mean, even though I'm not tag team wrestling there anymore, you still get, you get all this, get all this. And at that show, uh, you will see pectoral Poseidon, Rex Lawless, Lawless. Always coming back. Yeah. To VOW. Yeah, of course. But to the area. Yes. As pectoral Poseidon. Yeah. Doesn't that doesn't that just intrigue your fancy? I feel bad for the announcer on that one. I, yeah. Well, I mean, I I can't say it very well because you know I have problems speaking the English language. But it, uh, you you need to see this. It's it's <laughs> it's quite incredible. 
Uh, he was definitely an imposing guy. He's from uh, the, the New York area, I think. Yeah. Uh, Long yeah. Island or something. Yeah, yeah. He's a, he's a big dude. And he's part of the tournament. So I, I might be, uh, you know, grappling with him in the ring. I don't know. He's a big guy, though. So big tell guy. me, what what is the Iron Man tournament? Like, what are... Is it just a a, a, a new kind of title, or uh, you know, are they doing anything? Uh, um, what kind of tournament is this? Um, from my understanding, um, yeah, oh, there it is. Um, the idea behind it is, if, if I'm correct, if I'm correct, um, the qualifying matches for the final match are going to be 15 minute Iron Man matches. Oh, yeah, uh. If if I'm correct, if I, if I'm correct, because this is a new concept, so I might get things wrong. Uh, and then the final match will be those five winners um, in a 30 minute Iron Man match, and I, I think it's just for uh, it, it just whoever wins gets the is the Iron Man is the Iron Man of the OW, and I'm facing Gory, so. That that'll be pretty sweet. And you got got some different. Oh, <laughs> yeah. That's, okay, that's the non Iron Man match. Yeah, that's with, not uh, an Iron Man match, but it is quite the manly. Super Beast match. and Super Oprah against Chess Fluxer and Juan Juan, Juan, Juan Jeremy. Jeremy, I've Juan. not seen Juan Jeremy there. Samantha uh, Star. Samantha and Samantha Star. I, I was Star. just writing them off. Yes. <laughs> um, but uh, but yeah. So so uh. They they have that so that that should be cool. It's a different kind of concept. Mm-hmm. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. I'm excited for it. Uh, always excited to face uh, a top talent like uh, Gory. Another IWC school original. Yeah, yeah. See, IWC man. Uh, yeah. So that should be that should be quite the contest. So check that out. So I, IWC and VOW have some pretty sweet uh, events coming up. So mm-hmm. that's exciting to see. I like that. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. And I'm part of them. So I, I that that's cool, too. Awesome. <laughs> so uh, I want to spin on uh, kind of how we end, usually end these interviews. Uh, but uh, what are you watching these days? There's, of course, a lot that's been happening since we've last had you on, uh, yeah. on, on at least television and the indies. Yeah. Um, let's see. Uh, I mean, of course, I keep up with wwe nxt Mm -hmm. uh you got you gotta keep up like um i don't i i follow it the best i can sometimes i miss out on some of the little things they do but i try to keep up to date with that because you gotta know what the big company's doing uh so i do that uh been trying to watch more japan stuff uh i watch uh clips of pwg uh and when i want to watch something funny i watch backyard wrestling on youtube <laughs> oh <laughs> do you um <laughs> what's that Eamon? Oh, i was saying that's always a good palate cleanser <laughs> exactly I'm, I'm sure it's very very interesting <laughs> um <laughs> so i i just take uh what i can from anything i'm watching uh i'm i'm not a huge fan of some styles and i'm I'm not crazy about others, but I take the good out of whatever I can and mm. I try to learn from it and form it into me. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. I was re- I was really impressed. Uh, we we uh, one time I I saw you recently talking with another guy uh about how they're kind of forming their gimmick. Uh, yeah. they're forming their personality here. And, and it seems like you're really kind of getting a lot of information here. <laughs> uh, I, I mean, you're, I mean not, it's not the right way to put it, but you're really kind of uh, um, um, absorbing a lot. And, uh, and I'm, I, I got to see that and exactly how much. And I think somebody else I was with us was kind of impressed by that, too. Um, uh, it seems like you have a pretty good head on your shoulders for, for um, how wrestling works, I guess. Um, I, I try to. Uh, I, uh, I, I just... One thing I feel more people should start doing, and I know they probably heard it before, but they need, instead of talking and, oh, I know this and blah, 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 and talking, 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 people need to just shut their mouth and listen to people. They need to listen to the vets. They need to listen to people that know what they're doing. Mm-hmm. Uh, 
I, and I try to do that the best I can. Um, no one's perfect, but I, I just feel like if somebody's taking the time to tell you something, if they're trying to help you listen to them, right. don't just, sh- don't just shut them off and say, Oh no, I know what I'm talking about. I'm going to do what I want. Like, listen, listen, they might know something. You don't have to take everything in and like, just believe it to be truth. You know, listen, uh, you might get something from it. Right. Just shut your mouth and listen. And you've had you've had a great opportunities uh, to be around some some of those big guys, uh, you know, present and past. Uh, what what do you think is the biggest uh, piece of advice that you kind of take the heart out of all that? Uh, let's see. That you're allowed to tell me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. If I, um, <laughs> don't chase the rats. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've heard that a few times. I'm sure you have. <laughs> And I'm sure a gravelly voice like that too. Um, I, uh, yeah, even had a vet tell like a like a very well known vet, uh, very well well known vet <laughs> told me uh, he he was real angry with my match before because I did a uh, airplane spin, helicopter spin, whatever you want to call it, mm-hmm. just the dizzy kind. Didn't do any move afterwards. Boom, set him down. I did that halfway through the match, and he's like, "Uh, that's." That's a finisher. And I'm like, uh, okay. Okay. You know, I shook my head. I'm like, yeah, okay. Um, but I mean, that's one of those things where it's like, you don't have to say yes to everything. Somebody Mm -hmm. says, just listen, because you know, a helicopter airplane, whatever you want to call it, spin now probably isn't a finisher. Joe Dombrowski knows about this, but, uh, (laughs) any, anyways, uh, it, honestly probably um keeping my mouth shut listening um and zima zima says it all the time he's be humble just be humble listen and zima zima's one of those guys where i feel like i probably wouldn't be where i am in wrestling if it wasn't for things he said and advice he gave me because he was very realistic with things but not like a douchebag about it you know like he was uh very informative and i i feel like i feel like zima's given me a lot of good advice i'll I'll say zima zima's the answer yeah all right um so what is again you know a year later maybe the question the, the answer is a little different to this but what's the the best and worst thing uh, that you come across in uh, indie wrestling these days, like as in, to me, to the wrestling business. You know, you might have been early enough. We probably didn't even have this question yet. <laughs> yeah, so. yeah. Like <laughs> this is all new to me. Um, well, so what do you mean by it? Like, uh, what's the what's the best thing about being in, in this business, being an indie wrestler, whatever the case may be? Um, it's it's being able to just take everything from inside and just let it out like Monday through Friday, mostly Monday through Friday. uh, You like, I, I I feel like I have to fake being someone Monday through Friday. Like I'm not myself. I have to put on a mask Mm -hmm. uh, to be around normal people. And I I mean, I know everybody knows, Things are unique and everybody's unique and special in their own way. I, I, I don't feel like I'm a super normal person. And so I have to put on a normal mask Monday through Friday. And on the weekend, I feel like I'm more of myself than normal. So when people, when people see me being crazy and stuff, honestly, that's just what I want to do. Uh, my character is uh, me. That and uh, I feel so. I say the best thing about doing indie wrestling, wrestling uh, is being with good friends and just being able to be myself. Be yourself. Uh, yeah, I like being myself, and I feel more at home with uh, wrestling. And yeah, I love it. Awesome. And the worst thing? Worst thing. Uh, Body odor, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, injuries, yeah, uh, scumbag promoters, um, 
not not any in Pittsburgh or anything. Uh, but uh, <laughs> um, just the complaining of wrestlers, like wrestlers act like a bunch of teenage girls, drama queens. Uh, where, well, wrestlers are the ones where it's like you'll be talking face to face, but as soon as somebody leaves that circle, it's like, oh my god, did you see how fat they got? Oh my god, I know their tights look so bad right now. Like that, that's annoying. I might play a part in that a few times, you know, but I, it, it's annoying. The drama, drama, stupid. <laughs> awesome. Well, Andrew Palace, you're on the, you're on the Twitters. You've been using your Twitter. I've been I I've see. Been, I've been using my Twitter a little bit more. I mean, it, 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 we we had a conversation <laughs> with Andrew, oh, a friend of ours. I wanted to have a conversation with you about your Twitter. Yes, and, uh, and yeah. I hope you learned something. <laughs> yeah, I I did I uh, I feel like when something when I'm doing something or if I'm I, I don't know yeah when I'm doing something I don't feel like typing it because i feel like i'm just living in the moment Mm -hmm. and i i'm not one of those people that like oh something cool is happening oh first thing i need to do get my phone um i and nothing against the people that do that i just i i guess i'm old school with things it's Mm -hmm. like oh wow what a nice sunset oh that's awesome start driving away get home and i'm like oh crap i should have posted that (laughs) <laughs> put some hashtags <laughs> i'm like i should have done I, I should i should do that next time uh but i guess i yeah but i need to use it more because mm-hmm. that's part of my job and that's one of my uh that's that's probably one of my uh uh weakness uh yeah weaknesses right now i right. should be better on social media yes <laughs> that's what i need to learn i need Ooh. i need some wisdom from the wrestling mayhem show the indie wrestling mayhem uh, yeah Re- indie mayhem show i got it right i need that i, I got the words of wisdom we'll be we'll be having more discussions about <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah yes wow um anyways <laughs> Yes. <laughs> As we have a cameo by Scott Steiner. Thank you. Um, for more Scott Steiner, please check out Sawtooth Willie in the coming weeks and subscribe to the Facebook and YouTube. Thank you for helping me build that plug in there, Andrew. <laughs> That's social media and maybe a little bit of buzz marketing. Um, at the Andrew Palace on the Twitters. Yes, and at the Andrew Palace on the Instagrams mm-hmm. and Facebook. Just find Andrew Palace and my pictures on it, and it should be obvious. Just Andrew Palace. Yeah. All right. Thanks a lot for joining us and coming back. Uh, and uh, check him out. Of course, IWCWrestling.com, yeah. uh, ViciousOutcastWrestling.com uh, to see yeah. the shows he's at in the area. And we have plenty of Andrew Palace on IndieWrestling.us. Yes. Yeah. Look, look it all up. Did, I don't care if your mom tells you to go to bed. You stay up all night watching Andrew Palace all night. You look at the ads. You look at the pictures. You look at the Instagrams, the videos, the Indie Mayhem show. You look at it all tonight. Do it. Or or whenever you see this video, do it then. We got a lot of stuff on there. Like two bucks a pop. Go oh, check out some matches. Oh, yeah. Look. Oh, oh man. Look at this. <laughs> look at, oh, t- whoa. Look at those. Look. I mean, babe, not babes. Right, right. I mean, Ray, nah, Redland's not my thing. Uh, <laughs> yeah, there you go. They're all on there. Thank you so much for joining us. We're gonna see well, a little bit you. of what happened this past week in uh, Sogatron Media, and we'll be right back uh, as Bobby joins us to learn a little bit as wrestling comes to his town out by Johnstown, PA. How did that go? We'll be right back. This look at him with his guess who looking face. Does he have curly hair? Yes. Does he have a dumb face? Yes. Does he owe sawtooth money? Yes, he do. Tommy James old sawtooth money. That's real nice, though. I appreciate the reminder. Ooh. Ooh, and there's the money. It's Tracy, and he does rants about sports, and you know, I like to think of it as an art piece. At one time, it would be great. He probably would be in uh, MoMA with it if he just would 
only do it one time, but he does it, you know, twice a month. We're gonna have the the Gold's Gym uh, mod talk, the Taco Bell uh, sponsored uh, Hitman Lee. Boba Fett brought to you by Fiber One. You can do it. The Slow Poke Pizza Hut. The workers have a way, you know, it's like uh, the, the cream always rises to the top. So you come up, yeah, that foam's going to come up. And, and that's where the best workers are going to come from, your best wrestlers, your best athletes. They're going to come out, and, and they're going to truly shine. And so they expose themselves just like the others do. And I'm worried they're going to try to start pushing things. It just wants to be helpful, man. Yeah. Well, listen, yeah I understand listen, you're trying to be helpful. The big Goog wants to help you out in your day-to-day <laughs> life, okay? The big Goog is looking out for you, okay? And watching you. And, and reading your emails. And reading your emails. <laughs> and knows exactly where you are. The WWE and myself, it's like a bad relationship. Bad enough where you know you need to get out. They're showing you everything that you want to see. Okay, you know what? You're all trying to get sweet spots. I just want to get screwed. Not that way. I just, can I swear? All right, guys, check out all that stuff at uh, Rest- or, uh, Sorgatron Media. Uh, great great batch of stuff that we did last week. Uh, so Bobby F. J. Town is joining us because Bobby F. J. Town had wrestling come to his town. Like like his town that he lives yeah. in of Winbeer. We, we, we say we say Johnstown, but you actually live in the uh, the Nestle suburb of Winbeer, PA. Uh, yeah. and, and, and wrestling came to your town. Tell us about it. Um, Mick Foley was there, um, and and the funny thing about that was when I went to take his picture with him and my friend, um, he was getting texts from Sasha Banks, <laughs> which was really cool. Um, but yeah, the show was really good. Um, I enjoyed it. Uh, um, there was a guy there, like I told you about earlier, named Megapixel. Mm-hmm. Uh, he had a power glove, and we chanted random uh, video game things at him, like up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, BA, select, start. Um, and it's dangerous to go alone, take this, um, use the Tanuki suit, stuff like that. Uh, that was fun. Um, there was one guy there, his name was Rob Locke, um, by far the best heel in the company. Um, he was even better than like the main heel they had and he was in his stable. Um, but I found his bio on the website and he's from Pittsburgh, um, a former volunteer bouncer for Habitat for Humanity, Rob Locke was discovered by Ken Dixon attempting to make a needy family tap out and earn their spot in the newly built home. What? Upon, upon reaching a settlement with the family and receiving a permanent and unlimited banishment from the charity, Dixon recruited uh, Mr. Locke into the Dixon line and a hand dojo. Shortly thereafter, he pledged to protect King Ryan McBride, who's the main heel, um, the same way he would a modest single family ranch home. Rob Locke's enthusiasm for violence on others can never be understated. While at times he may appear overzealous, Locke brings energy and intensity to the Dixon line. Um, that He was awesome. He, he was like yelling at fans and just – he was great. He was great. And, and he was like kind of like the cocky heel too, so – it was fun. I had a good time there. Um, there was actually a title change at, in Wimber, which shocked the hell out of us. Like the, their champion bruiser lost to uh, Ryan McBride, who's the king of MCW. Um, but yeah, it was it was a good show. I enjoyed it. Um, they they uh, Jimmy the Hippie was there. A guy named Jimmy the Hippie, um, who sold flowers that were like stuffed flowers. That was cool. Um, yeah, it was, it was fun. It was fun. Awesome, awesome. So that's uh, Maryland Championship Wrestling or MarylandWrestling dot com. You can find them. And and, and this is a so you you had Mick Foley there, of course, was was the big mm-hmm. name for you. Uh, but they have a lot of shows coming up. Then and, and and we've talked about them before leading into this. Uh, Mick Foley's on a couple of them. Ric Flair is kind of a, a label for a couple of these. Mick, uh, uh, Mickey James, JJ Dillon is going to be one at, at one. Uh, lead is part of one. Uh, so th- they they have some big names coming through. Uh, and they seem to be, uh, I don't know, they're in Delaware, uh, all over Maryland. It's, it's pretty interesting that they're uh, kind of creeping up. they reached all the way into Windsor. <laughs> right, right. And that might be, if that's their first one, that might be kind of a test that show a for them. One. It's no, their second, second one. one. Okay. Yeah. I missed the first one. The first one, they had Matt Hardy. Oh, okay. So. 
Um, yeah. But, you know, a lot of times, like, groups like this will kind of test out a new area if, if they're really kind of big on expanding mm-hmm. a bit. Um, so, I mean, I mean, you look at IWC does, does Clearfield, right? And, and, and it have done uh, West Virginia in the past and uh, things like that. So, uh, what, was there any sort of uh, charity involved with this, like a local group or something? No. No? Um, just, uh, it was a wrestling show. That's awesome. Just, they just brought it up. Um, and Mick Foley commented and, and, and commended us on our excellent sound system. <laughs> <laughs> That's so great. It was, it was fun. That's key. So, uh, so any other thoughts from uh, Maryland Championship Wrestling before we let you go here? Um, just looking, uh, looking to Brandon Scott. He was really good too. Oh, actually, uh, we've seen him in champion. We, we've seen him at RWA, and uh, yeah, he was really yeah. impressive. I thought. Yeah, he was. He was really good. Uh, Mick Foley actually commented on him and, and, and commended him for his excellent match he had sure. uh, against. I can't remember the other guy's name, but it was like a best two out of three falls match and it was like the rubber match between the two and he, he ended up winning it so it was good all right good well thanks bobby uh, at bobby fj town check him out of course he's part of boss battle and insert coin to begin.com and he's got an extra life coming up uh, what's the information for the extra life if they want to support you there um our team name is uncharted for drake's donations uh and i'll be tweeting out the link at bobby fj town and you can donate at the the site All right, go check it out. Thank you, Bobby, for joining us, and let's get into some more indie wrestling. That's right, Sorg. It's time to dive into the rest of the world of independent wrestling. Thanks again, Bobby FJ Town, for joining us. Uh, Yeah, first, before we dive into the stuff that our good friend Matt Carlin has has excavated and and acquired for uh, the the Around the Indies column on TheWrestling.us, I do want to mention an event that's coming up this Sunday, an event that I will be a part of and working for, as always, and that's Inspire Pro Wrestling. Uh, it's a pretty big one for us. We got our tag cane event, uh, which will be our first ever tournament uh, show. It's a tag team tournament to crown our first ever Inspire Pro Tag Team Champions. It should be a really fun one. Uh, there's a lot of really cool stuff going on with this show. First time ever really calling a, uh, a, t- a tournament of any kind, so that will be a, a cool little undertaking. Um, and yeah, it should be really exciting. We also, along with the tournament, have uh, Ricky Starks defending the Inspire Pro Championship against Andy Dalton. In a two out of three falls match, which should be really, really fun. Uh, and uh, Veda Scott of Ring of Honor fame will be there to make a uh, defense for XX Division Championship. Uh, and a lot of cool stuff coming uh, down the pipeline for Inspired Pro Wrestling. Not only Tag K, which is this Sunday, November 1st, uh, but then the weekend after, we're going to be a part of all three days of Fun, Fun, Fun Fest uh, in downtown Austin, Texas, which should be extremely fun, no pun intended. Um, uh, it should be an exciting uh, uh few couple weeks for uh, Inspire Pro Wrestling. Uh, yeah, so um, just plug, want to put that out, plug that out. If you're going to be around Texas, go check us out. Uh, tickets and more information at inspireprowrestling.com. So definitely go uh, check us out. Awesome. And, uh, oh, yeah. Or go ahead, Sword. Uh, I was going to move on to the Around the Indies column that our friend Matt Carlin puts together that, that helps us find out what's going on out in the Indies, <laughs> for one thing, right? Absolutely. Yeah, uh, it did. A really well, uh, well done come. I actually talked to Matt Carlin uh, uh, to, earlier today for something that may be going up. Uh, I'm not sure if it will be going up on IndieWrestling.us or WrestlingMayhemShow.com, one of the two. Mm-hmm. Uh, but keep an eye out for that. So. so I think the biggest news from the weekend is uh, the fact that Terry Funk, of course, uh, popped up last weekend, I think, with AIW. Uh, but, uh, mm-hmm. you know, coming back, I don't think he, he, he didn't he didn't wrestle, but he was in a fight of some sort. And, uh, of course, uh, interviewed for an interesting documentary short that's uh, on YouTube right now. You guys can check out on AIW, uh, Absolute Intense Wrestling's uh, site. And, and please, AIW is just, like, killing it these days as far as, like, attention, doing the stuff online, and doing things right. And if you're a promotion, if you're doing something else, uh, look at them for some cues uh, for what they're doing. Yeah. As, as I, I put over, IWC Inspire Pro also doing some great, great things online as well. Uh, but in this case, uh, so, so uh, Ed, this one was, uh, where, where even was this? Uh, USA Pro Championship Wrestling promoted All-Star Tribute to Lance Russell in Jackson, Tennessee. Main event uh, was Jerry Lawler the 71-year-old Jer- uh, Terry Funk, and you see here on the video uh, in a moment, yes, Jerry Lawler threw fire in the face of Terry Funk. It was Tennessee. <laughs> in Tennessee in 2015. Holy crap. 
Um, I would not fill in the arena down there, but still, it, it was pretty pretty impressive. And there's some great shots uh, also included on the blog by Matt Carlins uh, at Mainstream Map, by the way, on Twitter if you want to check them out uh, of of that in action. Insane, insane time. Uh, as I said, I, I got to work uh, uh, shoot a match with Jerry Lawler in uh, in in Ohio here over the summer, and just complete pro can still go. Uh, really awesome. Full Impact Pro had their uh, two night fallout event this past weekend. Uh, looks like some really cool stuff happened out of there, and that was on iPay-Per-View, so you can check that out. Uh, Beyond Wrestling held its Gratitude Area event Sunday in Providence. Uh, and uh, Again, the Kingdom was a part of that from Ring of Honor, and uh, Chris Dickinson was a part of that as well. And uh, as we go through here, uh, the other big thing Pro Wrestling Syndicate always have big shows, big names. PJ Black is a part of that. A GFW's PJ Black. I believe that that is the. Um, um, uh, I'm sorry, Justin Gabriel, right? Former, you, if, yeah, former Justin Gabriel had a. Uh, it looks like amazing match with Amazing Red, and there's a little bit of highlight here as well. Uh, Johnny Mundo was a part of that. He's he's usually a part of that uh, show as well. Uh, Rob Van against Rob Van Dam of all people. Great. Uh, Pro Wrestling Syndicate. I'm sorry, I thought I had the video. There's the loop and not Eamon's face. There we go. Uh, but uh, uh, they always have a lot of really, really interesting names coming through. Uh, so if you're looking for uh, where are they now on the indies, that's pretty much the, the place to go. Uh, Blue Water Championship Wrestling. All right, it's going to get weirder in names here. Uh, <laughs> crowned a new, crowned a new he- cruiserweight champion in the, uh, the Shark Boy. Shark Boy. That's right. Shark Boy yeah. is a champion somewhere in 2015. Um, <laughs> it's the phrase of the night here. Uh, so uh, that's that's a thing that happened. And also, we can't uh, end this without bringing up the costume battle royal in which Matt Cage showed up as Sasha Banks. And yes, there is video of it. Enjoy. It's uh, pretty. It, it's kind of spot. At least like. At least entrance wise, it's pretty spot on. I don't know about the actual is he? Ghetto. I don't know. Is he? I, I can't. I can't see past well everything uh, to really, <laughs> really kind of. I don't know. Well, he's teaming with Batman and a Pokemon from the looks of things too. So uh, they had a lot of fun out there. Halloween, Halloween indie wrestling shows are always fun. <laughs> we I, 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 I assume ten of those wrestlers are going to be on Trash Bag Wrestling like tomorrow. But you know, <laughs> sure, sure. So go check that out, indiawrestling.us. Uh, check out the blog over there. Of course, this show is posted there as well as around the indies by Matt Collins, who just does a tremendous job of just gathering the best of the weekend. And maybe we'll find out what happened at Tagcade via this column next week as well. So thank you, Matt, for that. Mm-hmm. Hey, man, I think that's all the indie wrestling we're talking about tonight. I think that's all we got. It's all we got. It's all we got in the can. Please check out everything at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. We had some great discussions tonight about The Undertaker, about uh, the Breaking breaking Ground uh, show, where hopefully some of these guys will be popping up in sooner or later, right? Maybe our own Andrew Palace will be. Uh, we could only hope, right? And actually, if you, some of your faces are involved in that, at least if the uh, promos hold true. So uh, WrestlingMayhemShow.com, you can subscribe to everything. And uh, that we're doing over here. And uh, please also uh, check us out. Uh, hit us up. 412-206-WMS0 is the hotline. As well as good times at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Let us know your thoughts on our guests, who's coming up, etc. And uh, check out our friend Basic Sickness. BasicSickness.com. And uh, you can join us here live at uh, live.wrestlingmayhemshow.com. Apologies for those in the chats tonight. We did have some technical difficulties working through those. Sometimes YouTube does not cooperate all that great, and we have to deal with the consequences. Uh, But anyways, good times. They're singing in the Periscopes, because that's what we're on right now. Uh, So thank you, everybody. Eamon is at Eamon2, please, on the Twitters. Inspire. Inspire. I was just uh, Inspire Pro Wrestling at Inspire Pro Wrestling on Twitter. So definitely go follow us both. And I'm at SorgatronMedia.com for all the things I'm working on these days. Sorgatron.com is my kind of video blog and bloggy blog kind of thing. It's just a little bit the, the extraneous, 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 the extra stuff that I'm doing. 
Uh, and and uh, thank you everybody for joining us. Please support independent podcasting and of course support the rest. Joe is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.